Alright guys, so what we're going to be working with today is just some generic stuff. She's already so open that just the mere thoughts of me working with her, I'm just intending for her own and you know internal system to kind of be uh, operating itself. So, we're going to go and play with some new techniques. Let's go ahead and utilize... See, I, I don't even have to finish my thoughts or my words because it's it, it already the energy is already registering with my intention. So let's go ahead and begin to utilize this um, lightning bolt technique. Let's really go in the heart. See that minor subtle pulsation. Beautiful. Let's go into the solar plexus. And generally what's causing this this movement is ultimately going to be of a disharmonic resonance. Think of when I'm sending a balanced energy to the body. When it hits something that's out of tune, it basically creates that reaction. Let's go ahead and see, once again, didn't even have to finish my command. Let's go ahead and target the fascial tissue. So it can be a little bit more tan. Sorry guys, still learning out this whole live stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and send an electrical current all throughout the entire body. Target the cranial nerves, begin to recode them, reformat them. Beautiful. So basically what's happening is, is that if there are any low pulsating particles within those specific part of the central nervous system, it's them collapsing. Re it's basically just them being literally recrystallized to the cellular level, a complete transformation all the way down to the physical level. Let's go ahead and target the inner child. It's going to be basically in the upper part of the spine. Let's really begin to transmit unconditional love to this aspect of herself. are so perfect just as you are let's go ahead and target all the primary chakras let's utilize the laser technique so right now there's little spheres above each chakra and they're firing lasers into each one of the you know, center of the toroidal fields of each vortex. I 
Facebook, you are such a wonderful tool that needs to be utilized to the fullest. I'm so thankful for you. Alright, let's go ahead and <clears throat> start working with the spine. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get comfortable myself. Right now I'm just visualizing this electrical current kind of just traveling down the spine, repatterning anything that is disharmonic in nature. <laughs> let's go back into the heart space and let's utilize a particle transfer technique and really begin to uh, increase the particle pulsation rhythm of the heart space Right now I'm in the throat and I'm targeting any suppressed emotions. Beautiful, perfect. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are seeing this live right now. <laughs> it's pretty trippy. Go ahead and target any tension in the shoulders. Any stress-based tension. Any anxiety-based tension. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, I love my job so much. I feel like a kid in the sandbox right now. Let's see if there's anything else going on here. Seems to have finally died down. And this is how it goes sometimes, you know, kind of comes in waves. Let's go in the first center. Let's begin to pulsate a very, very, very high frequency in that center. Alright guys, I think I got might have got most of the distortion on the top of layer. So now it's gonna be oh, there's some more. There we go. But I'm about to start just reharmonizing really all of the centers, which definitely causes a lot less reaction.
Right now I'm in the third eye actually, and I just inserted a sphere and I'm just really just increasing that pulsation of that uh, orb-like structure. Mind you, my mute, my mic, it, Lella, my mic is muted, so she can't hear anything I'm saying. Let's go ahead and target that arm. What I'm gonna do now is basically wrap this um, this web-like structure over the arm, begin to pulsate or fire very high frequency into the arm. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right now I'm in the sacral. Let's go ahead and target the bone matrix and begin to recrystallize any disharmonic, you know, particles, patterns within the biggest energetic transducers of the physical matrix, the bones. So any you know, undesired memories, traumas, beautiful. Right now I'm just visualizing this beautiful electrical current just traveling through the body. Similar to a, you know, neuron firing through a dendrite in the brain. Beautiful. The way that I primarily transmit energy at this point isn't through my breathing. It's simply through seeing it with my mind. I just see it, I just visualize it, it's like this film that overlaps my normal vision. I just watch, just intend, I just direct, but I also just be as well, you know. It's always about not getting too caught up and becoming polarized, you know, and too extreme and, and always returning to this point of neutrality. It's always about synthesizing and, and getting the most out of everything from its zero point. So important. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sometimes I put my hand out just to kind of have a physical representation of some tangibility as to what exactly I'm doing. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Let's go ahead and target the coccyx 
really try to isolate the uh, eight original fetal cells. Let's utilize a laser technique, firing a very, very fine, fine beam into that part of the body. And as you can see, there is subtle reaction going on. There's a shift in the breathing that's happening. There's some minor hip and pelvic movement, you know, and with the trained eye, you can see these very, very, very minute, subtle reactions that speak so, so extremely loud. Beautiful. Thank you all for joining me. You all are so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still just targeting those eight original fetal cells, which essentially record all the information of our entire existence. So let's isolate the traumas stored in those cells. Let's begin to re-Christ code those cells and reformat them to their original divine blueprint. Beautiful, beautiful. See if we can run the disassociated emotion transduction sequence, where essentially I basically go to the feet to where the dissociated emotions are stored, and begin to just transmit frequency to that center to kind of kick up that sediment or those low pulsating particles, and see if we can get it to work here. Can we get? Oh, there's the reaction. All right, we're in. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, reestablish the connection, creating basically a channel or a cord that's going to go into the first chakra. It's going to reintegrate those disassociated emotions back into the body. Let's go ahead and start pulling them up into the sacral to be re-experienced, be re-felt. Just you know, just you have to re-experience the emotion in order to transmute it. Let's begin to pull those from the sacral into the solar plexus to be accepted and to really let go let's go ahead and go in the heart to be embraced and unconditionally loved Go ahead and pull them up into the throat to be re-expressed. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right, let's go ahead and pull that into the third eye to be intuitively seen and then simultaneously in the crown to be divinely understood. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. That was a solid 20 minute live procedure, so try and focus a little bit more here as well. I love you all so much. Thank you for viewing. There'll be more, much, much more of this very soon. Blessings.